Well, how's it going today, folks? Here we go with another report. We got some trade rumors out here. Looks like Carmelo Anthony is on the trade blocks. I mean, that's nothing new. But what's new, it seems like there's some interest here. We got over here with the Celtics. I haven't heard about that one. That one would be kind of devastating for all teams in the East. If he gets there to the Celtics and get to playing with Isaiah Thomas, Wow, that's kind of scary, especially for the Cavs. You know, my beloved Cavs, I must admit, I like the Cavs. I'm not going to hold it back from you. You know, I've heard about the one where they were talking about to the Clippers. Now, I kind of like that one better because you got Anthony out in the West playing with the point guard if he ever gets back. I'm talking about Chris Paul, CP3, of course. And that kind of makes it better, you know, for us out here in the East, you know, especially us Cavs lovers. And I got to keep telling you, I'm a Cavs lover, you know, yay, 2016 NBA champions. But, you know, I digress. Let's get back to these rumors here. We got the Bleacher Report over here. They're reporting that it looks like Carmelo Anthony trade rumors to the Celtics. And the Celtics are not interested in a deal for the next start. You know, again, that would be sweet if the Celtics were, man, because I can see him playing with Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, Jarepko, Marcus Smart. Oh, man, that's the more I think about it, that's kind of getting scary, and I really don't want to see anything like that in the East. But anyway, you know, the Bleacher Report, they have this trade going on, you know, by Tim Daniels, reported today on the 27th. We'll see what happens with that. I don't think it's going to be too much. But, you know, the rumors are out there. So, you know, check them out and tell me what you think about that trade. But you think that would be a power change in the East or not if Anthony does go over to the Boston Celtics. We got a couple of more trade rumors going in over here. We have the Forbes magazine, Forbes. You know, I guess, well, there's big money involved. So why not have Forbes in there, right? We are talking about million dollar basketball players. The Forbes magazine is reporting, and it seems like Forbes seems to think with all the trade rooms that's out there, that the Los Angeles Clippers are Melo's most likely def destination. Well, you know, again, as I said earlier in the video, you know, I would like to see him out there. You know, Chris Paul comes back to get to play with Doc, and I think Doc can get the most out of him. So. I don't know. I mean, he'll be out west. He'll be away, you know, from the east where I, I don't have to worry about him as a Cavs fan. But, you know, I think he'll be out there where he can give the dubs a little bit more something to think about. So, you know, let's see what happens there. You know, and also to make it work out there, they're going to have to find a way to make those contracts work. And it seems like Blake's going to have to go if Melo's going to come out to the Clippers. And, you know, Blake in the east... I don't know, in New York, he'll get more pub than what he's getting out West, but you know, it's still gonna be a freak show in New York, regardless of who they get, regardless of who comes out there. You know, there's a lot more things to worry about out there than, you know, making a trade for Melo or swapping Melo. New York has a lot of things to worry about. I love that city, but the team, it needs some work. And this Forbes article, it goes on to talk about how I can make these salaries work. You know, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to this Forbes article so you can read it for yourself because I know you can read and I know you don't wanna sit here and have to listen to me read. But, you know, take a quick glance at what's up there on the screen now and then I'll shoot you the link in the description so you can go back there and check this article out for yourself. And then we got a report up here from ESPN. It came out not too long ago. Oh, Let's see what ESPN Brian Windhorst have to say. Over last weekend, are dead, dead for now, but from what sources tell me, they could definitely, definitely restart. It's very, very difficult, difficult for them to execute a mellow trade. trade. It's like, it's like threading threading the needle, needle because, because of the no trade, trade clause, clause, because, because of his trade kicker. Windhorst, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying not to talk over him, but this guy. Do you think it's possible that the Cavs could revisit this, especially if they get no traction elsewhere and look for the very that that happens. Happens. Anyway, ESPN seems to think that the Knicks and Clippers might be making a move. My bottom line is that I definitely do not want to see Melo come to the Cavs. 
for a can of love. It makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, what are you swapping out? You're getting rid of one of your rebounders. You're already weak in the middle. Everybody's driving down the lane on you. What you gonna do? You gonna replace them with uh, another shooter who can't create his own shot off the ball? No, I'm good. We don't want Melo here in Cleveland. Melo, you're a good player, but you need to go someplace else. I'm coming here, you know, destroying a little bit of chemistry we got now. We're trying to make another title run here in 2017, and we don't need you to interfere, interrupt, and try to fit in and start ring chasing. Ring chase someplace else. I love you, Melo, but no, nah, that's my rant. Not here in Cleveland. Tell me what you think. What you think about this whole Carmelo trade out there? You know, comment below. Like, and please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we love bringing you these videos. We love talking about them to you. Get a chance, share this video on your social media with your friends and y'all discuss it. Let's see what's really out there. Thanks for watching. We have some new videos for you soon.